In recent decades, Egypt has faced rapid population growth. From 1986 to 2023, the country's population has doubled, reaching 110 million people. If the current population growth rates continue, the number of Egyptians is projected to reach 190 million people by 2050. In order to prevent overcrowding, the government aims to limit the number of children in families to two. This measure could potentially help address the issue of overpopulation for future generations. As the population grows, Egypt has encountered a new and alarming problem, a shortage of fresh water and food. With the increase in population, the demand for food and water also rises, placing additional pressure on already limited resources. Experts consider this issue to be one of the most serious and complex challenges facing Egypt. However, the Egyptian government has decided to take proactive measures and not allow the situation to become catastrophic. Currently, Egyptian authorities have approved several major mega-projects that will help provide the country with fresh water and food. Today, we will discuss two of the largest ones. Enjoy watching. Why did Egypt have a problem with fresh water? After all, the country has been living peacefully all these years and has not experienced serious difficulties. For what it was necessary to invest tens of billions of dollars for all kinds of projects, the first key reason for the problem is the limited freshwater resources. Egypt is primarily located in a desert zone, and a large part of its territory is covered by deserts. The country's water resources largely depend on the Nile River, which is a vital source of fresh water for drinking, agriculture, and industry. However, the use of Nile water is also a source of conflicts between Egypt and other countries in the river basin. The second reason is climate change. Global warming and changing climatic conditions lead to reduced precipitation and increased evaporation, worsening the situation with the availability of fresh water. The third issue is inefficient use of resources and an outdated irrigation system. Most of the water is used in agriculture, and many irrigation systems require modernization. All these factors together lead to serious consequences. Lack of fresh water limits agricultural opportunities, which can lead to food shortages. Dependence on food imports also makes the country vulnerable to global market fluctuations. As we have discussed earlier, the authorities have chosen not to wait for the catastrophic consequences of the crisis, but to take action right now. Egypt has announced plans to build the world's longest artificial river with a channel length of 114 kilometers. The cost of the project is estimated at $5.25 billion. The national project has already been named New Delta. The new river will irrigate 2.2 million acres of agricultural land. The construction of the artificial channel will help Egypt reduce its dependence on imports of several strategically important agricultural crops. The project will not only help increase food security, its implementation will create new job opportunities, about 10,000. However, the main goal of the project is to expand the area of agricultural land as Egypt is the largest importer of wheat in the world. The new Delta project will become the largest in Egypt's history. Previously, Saudi Arabia announced plans to construct a river longer than the Nile, 4 meters deep, 11 meters wide, and 12 kilometers long. Anti-corrosion pipes will be used in the project, each with a diameter of 2.25 meters. The United Arab Emirates previously held the top positions in the Middle East and Africa region in terms of food security and the ability to overcome supply chain disruptions, according to a report by the analytical company Global Data. Thus, the United Arab Emirates is in the least risky position among 56 countries in the region when it comes to logistical chain failures, rising inflation and debt, as well as food insecurity. The country's closest competitors are Israel, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Kuwait. The Egyptian authorities have stated that the water for the artificial river will come from recycled agricultural drainage and groundwater. UNICEF has declared that the country will exhaust its water reserves by 2025. However, the project also faces criticism. Some experts argue that it will be too expensive and unnecessary. They also express concerns about potential environmental harm. Despite the criticism, construction of the artificial river continues. It is expected to be completed by 2029. The national project, named New Delta, is currently under construction in the Western Desert. The primary goal of the project is to expand the area of agricultural land in Egypt. The Egyptian president has stated that the New Delta project will be the largest construction project in the history of modern Egypt. But this is far from the only mega project that will help Egypt cope with fresh water and food shortages. 
Egypt is gradually building the world's largest fish farm in the middle of the desert. The project named Birkett Galleon can truly be called one of the craziest in the world. The construction of this mega project began back in 2017. During the project's planning, Egypt faced the problem of a lack of technology, and then the Egyptians turned to China for help. What crazy mega project can do without the celestial empire? Because the Chinese are used to taking on the craziest mega projects, solving the most difficult problems, and doing things that other countries consider impossible. This time was no exception. An agreement was signed between the Egyptian government and several Chinese corporations, including Evergreen Corporation, which facilitated project design, surveying, engineering, and technical work. The project was jointly financed, and the construction was overseen by the Egyptian Armed Forces through the National Fisheries and Aquaculture Company. In 2021, the first phase of the mega farm was introduced. The opening took place on January 23, 2021, with the farm being inaugurated by the country's president. The farm is located to the east of the city of Portsmouth. After the completion of the first construction phase, the Burkitt Gallo project already became the largest fish farm in the Middle East. Different numbers are mentioned in sources, but according to preliminary estimates, this farm provided employment for about 10,000 Egyptians, while over 30,000 people were involved in various logistical chains and related productions. Until 2020, Port Said was a deeply depressed region with people leaving. In 2021, this region transformed into one of the centers of internal population migration. The gigantic project is built in the Al Fayrez Lake area. Over the past decade, due to rapid population growth, Egypt has become one of the largest importers of fish. With the introduction of the Burkitt Galleon project, Egypt has covered 70 of its aquaculture needs. The full completion of all project phases will enable the country to become the largest regional fish exporter. Currently, this farm produces over 6,000 tons of shrimp and 13,800 tons of fish annually. Its first phase includes 16 18.74 hectares of fish ponds, nurseries, and hatcheries. The project also includes fish packaging plants, as well as facilities for ice and fish feed production. However, this is not Egypt's only project to ensure the country's food supply. In the near future, plans are underway to construct around 100,000 greenhouse complexes of various sizes. About 20,000 greenhouse complexes have already been built. But back to the Burkitt Galleon mega project. Musa fish, various species of sea base, tilapia, mullet, and different types of shrimp are grown on the farm. Traditional Egyptian cuisine predominantly features dishes made from fish and seafood. However, due to the continuous population growth, Egypt became a major importer of fish, as traditional fishing methods couldn't entirely meet the demand for seafood and fish. With the launch of the Burkitt Galleon project, Egypt has been able to almost completely satisfy the population's demand for seafood. The fishery town has contributed to changing the demographic composition of the region and transforming it into an integrated industrial city. There are 83 freshwater ponds, 453 saltwater ponds, and 155 ponds for fry. About 20 million marine fish fry and 2 billion shrimp larvae are reared on the farm every year. The cost of the first phase of the Burkitt Galleon project amounted to 1.7 billion Egyptian pounds. Egypt must take comprehensive measures. This may involve investing in modern irrigation and water resource management technologies, promoting water conservation, and developing alternative sources of fresh water such as desalination of seawater. Additionally, it is important to establish dialogue and cooperation with neighboring countries in the Nile Basin to manage and distribute water resources more effectively and fairly. Overall, addressing the issues of fresh water and food requires a comprehensive and long-term approach that considers climate change, sustainable use of resources, and regional cooperation. These two mega-projects will significantly help Egypt in tackling the shortage of fresh water and food, but they will not completely solve it. Write in the comments what you think about these crazy mega projects of Egypt. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also on our channel, there are many other interesting videos. See you next time.